Alright, yo, what's up guys, it's Stride here with, a uh, commentary, uh, today I wanted to talk about, uh, Advanced Warfare, and, uh, what I think it's gonna be like, and just, the topic of, uh, just Call of Duty in general. Um, so this is a gameplay on Nuketown, uh, me and my buddy Rogue, we were, uh, maybe trying to spawn trap, it was, it was, I get like 53 kills, me and him, we just placed tax in there. Uh, in their little base here, and we try to get as many kills as we possibly can, because, you know, it's nuked down. So, more on the advanced warfare side of things. Uh, the trailer looked pretty nice, the new one that they just came out, with the trailer at the end. It looked pretty nice. It kind of, it's kind of on the side of, like, BO2, and I think it's going to be a lot, like, the playstyle of BO2. Um, yeah, I really don't think they should make anything like Ghost again. Just, this is like the only Call of Duty I've experienced as an actual player, and, uh, you know, it's, it just hasn't been, the, it just hasn't been, like, it just hasn't delivered enough to the COD community, it's like the only Call of Duty I've experienced where people do not really play it, you know, the people who have played every Call of Duty really, like, I've experienced, like, with just me in general, We've, me and my clan, my friends, we've always played every Call of Duty to, like, the fullest and, uh, to the max prestige and whatever. And, uh, Ghost was just one day and quit. Like, that was just weird. It was just it's such a, like, not, like, not horrible, but just not good. Like, it's not good, but it's not horrible. Like, it's just not there. But, uh, with Advanced Warfare, it's just, it seems like it's gonna be more of on the BO2 side. And it seems like it's gonna be really nice. Um, yeah, I think I'll be able to enjoy it, um, a lot more than Ghosts and actually be able to play it. I'm actually looking forward to playing another COD, because I've been playing BO2 for two years, instead of playing Ghosts, because, you know, it's just, it's just better, it just feels like Call of Duty, and I don't know why that these companies, they're just letting everyone in on this, like, they already had Treyarch and Infinity, where that was doing fine on its own, but, you know, they're... There is a plus side to having so many companies making Call of Duty because the, each company will have at least a, a few more years to actually work on their games instead of it coming out every two years and stuff like that. So now I think, yeah, now they have two years to work on their games instead of one, which is really nice. And I'm expecting better games from them overall. And, you know, if it ends up not being good, then I, I probably wasted so many years of making these games, but hopefully they use the, the time wisely and actually um, it seems like they take a lot of what the players want and put it into the game, but a lot of the time that's just not the case and they just do whatever the heck they want. Um, yeah, so Advanced Warfare, uh, another debate topic was the jetpacks and I think the jetpacks are alright. I mean, it's, it's going to be like the riot shield, you know, people just put it on just to troll around or just to have fun, you know. The jetpacks are probably going to be like that, where you rarely see them, but you're probably going to see them a lot more than you think. And I don't really mind it because they'd probably be really fun. Plus, to other people using them, they'd be more vulnerable in the air than they are on the ground. So you'd probably be able to get an easy kill on them. And you don't really know if you're going to be able to shoot while you're in the air. I don't know. I think it, they'll probably show it in the trailer. I don't know. I don't think he shot when he was in the air, but. Um, no, it'd probably be really annoying if someone could just jetpack over you and just shotgun you in the face. Like, that'd be really just, that'd make me rage quit. That'd probably make me rage quit any time of the day. But, uh, yeah, especially if, you know, it'd be kind of good, a tactical way to play if you could just, uh, just jetpack over a group of people and just be able to, you know, attack them in that sort of way. And maybe you could jetpack into certain parts of the map that could give you an advantage over the other team. That'd be a really cool idea. And, uh, yeah, I hope they just m take their ideas and just make it into something that works instead of something that could be really overpowered or just really cheap and annoying. Like, I really hope they mold it into something that we could, uh, work with. Um, and yeah, hopefully they do make it a good competitive type game. Because Ghost doesn't didn't really deliver an app either. Like, I know they had the Clan Wars and stuff. And that didn't really do much for me, like, no one really got into that. It was all glitched at first, like, with the Call of Duty app and all that when the game first came out. 
it that was glitched to the max. Like it was so annoying that we couldn't get it all set up, and we just no one wanted to play it in general because it was just a bad playstyle of game. Um, you know, uh, I think they tried well to make ghosts, but it just didn't really work out. And uh, more about the advanced warfare, uh, I think the campaign is going to be a uh, Probably, uh, I think it's going to be a great story since they're introducing actual actors into it, you know, Kevin Spacey and stuff like that. I think it's probably going to be a really good campaign, and it seems like it mirrors Black Ops 2 pretty well or pretty close. And I really love BO2, so I think it's going to be a great uh, game. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so... Advanced Warfare, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to having uh, the clan hop on it. Uh, our clan is Central, Central Network, by the way. You guys are wondering. Um, if you're on Xbox and you're a, a good player, uh, we're hopefully planning to recruit people. Uh, if you're a YouTuber who's watching this and you're new to watching my videos, make sure to subscribe. And message me, leave a comment down below. If you're a YouTuber in general, uh, you could add me on Xbox. Uh, you could see my... Uh, gamer tag in the top left corner as I'm talking right now, and it's also my uh, YouTube name. Uh, if you want to add me, we could do videos together. Uh, I've already added at least like two or three YouTubers. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be doing videos with them because they really do their own stuff, and they don't do stuff like I do. They do either like montages or other videos. So uh, if you want to be able to work with me and work with the clan, and maybe even join the clan, I don't know if some people are like that, but. Um, you know, if you enjoy competitive, sure, message me. If you enjoy YouTube and you want to work with us during this whole YouTube experience, please message us, uh, message me, and uh, I'm glad, I'm really looking forward to growing this channel and growing the Central Network and uh, getting to know a lot of you, a lot of my subscribers, and a lot of just people in general who are into gaming and maybe going forward with the gaming and maybe getting, you know, doing YouTube as a career, doing gaming as a career, I'm really interested in, in people like that. So, if you're interested in that type of stuff, make sure to hit us up. Um, we're hopefully going to get more YouTubers into this. This, uh, you could call it a clan, but uh, I've been in many clans. I've started two of my own clans, and uh, everyone's just quit over the years. And uh, so I joined up with my buddy, uh, Rogue. And we started up the Central Network with him and his friend. Uh, yeah, I'm a co-leader of Central now. And uh, we're planning to grow both YouTube and clan-wise. Um, Central's probably going to be more of a YouTube group in the future, but now it's just usually just me right now who's the YouTuber. And uh, I really enjoy this whole YouTube experience and just sharing thoughts and sh just doing stuff just to make people entertained. And uh, channel-wise, it's probably going to be mostly Call of Duty. I might upload a few GTA videos here and there, and a few other games, maybe like Destiny in the future, once that comes out. And just new games here and there. Uh, but I want to make my channel based off competitive Call of Duty, and just Call of Duty, just main games like I'm doing, or I'm commentating over now. And uh, I really look forward to it. And uh, this game's getting close to an end, there's about two minutes left. Um, um, yeah, so this is basically just a whole shotgun gameplay of just us just trying to get as many kills as we can. And, uh, yeah, again, as a reminder, please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed the topics I talked about today. And uh, I look forward to meeting and talking to a lot of you, to a lot of YouTubers out there. So, uh, if, if you're a YouTuber that's already subscribed to me and already talked to me, please share this video. Please get this video out to your subscribers. I really would look forward to growing my channel and uh, maybe I could do, I could help you guys out as well. Um, I know some of the YouTubers that are subscribed to me play on other consoles and uh, you know that could be a complication as well if you know um, I know I'm not going to be able to do videos with a lot of you because I play on uh, Xbox but if you do play Xbox hit me up the, we could plan something to work on in the future for content and, uh, yeah, so make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I know I've told you guys this a million times, but, uh, yeah, this has been Stride, 
and uh, I'll leave the rest of the gameplay to you guys, and I'll see you later. Okay, I